Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have discussed about uh, what is a spanning tree and uh, what is the minimum cost of spanning tree. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to find that minimum cost of spanning tree. So here there are two approaches to find the minimum cost of spanning tree from a graph. So that is one is a Prim's algorithm, another one is a Kruskal's algorithm. So in today's session, we'll discuss about the Prim's algorithm. So before applying the Prim's algorithm on the graph, make sure that the graph should be weighted connected and undirected so unless the graph is weighted connected or undirected so we can't apply the prims algorithm so make sure the first is point before applying the prims algorithm so the graph should be weighted connected and undirected and coming to the steps so first we need to consider any vertex because so we know the spanning tree definition spanning tree is a subgraph from the graph without any cycles consisting of all the vertices of a graph right so consider any vertex of the graph and the second step, find all the edges from the selected vertex to all the new vertices. So find all the edges. So among all the edges, you need to select the least weighted edge. So among all the edges, we need to find the least weighted edge and include it in a tree. So we need to construct a tree for that selected vertex and given the least weighted edge. And if the least weighted edge forms a cycle, so if you include this least weighted edge into a tree and if it forms a cycle, then simply discard. So it forms a cycle, then simply discard that one and consider the next least weighted edge. So once you find the least weighted edge, you have to include it in a tree. So after including it in a tree, if it forms a cycle, simply discard that one and consider the next least weighted edge and include it in tree. And the third step, repeat the same uh, step two until all the vertices are included in a tree. So once all the vertices are included, automatically that will be the minimum cost spanning tree, right? So this is how we need to find the minimum cost spanning tree with a Prim's algorithm. So in our previous uh, video on uh, data structures and algorithms, many of them were asking about uh, upload more number of videos on the data structures and algorithms. So in this regard, I want to tell you that an academy is, has started a course regarding the data structures and algorithms partnering with the Love Bubble. So if anyone wants to get a job in the data analytics or in a uh, topmost tech giant companies like Microsoft or uh, uh, Amazon, etc, etc, you need an in-depth knowledge on the data structures and algorithms. So enroll yourself in the course given by the N Academy and crack it. Hello, students. If you want to get a good job in a top tech giant companies like Microsoft, Google or Amazon, that's a product based companies with the highest package, the only one concept you need to concentrate more is on data structures and algorithms. So a normal basic knowledge on data structures and algorithms is not sufficient for those tech giant companies. So if you want to grab a deep knowledge of data structures and algorithms, here is a new initiative started by An Academy, India's largest learning platform, partnering with the Love Bubber. So you can learn with the Love Bubber all about a comprehensive data structures and algorithm. Love Bubber is a software engineer and a YouTuber. He worked with some of the world's most well-known product firms, including Amazon and Microsoft. His coding and software engineering abilities are well known and he also works as a coding tutor for college students and also have mentored over 5 lakh students till date. Students, An Academy is launching this course on 12th April 2022 and the price of the course is a minimal of 4000 rupees. So there is an early bird discount going on in this An Academy link. Link is mentioned in the description. Check the offer by clicking the link over and above the early bird offer you can avail 10% flat discount by using our referral code SKA10. In this course, Love Bubber will comprehensively cover data structures and algorithms. There will be a 60 plus live classes with a dedicated doubt clearing sessions. And the course will start with the basics of programming and cover important topics like recursion, backtracking, dynamic programming and many more will be covered. This course will cover a new questions apart from the conventional ones and will be delivered in English. 
students in this course you will be getting a cohort sessions in which lau babar will be explaining about basics of programming arrays searching and sorting techniques strings important concepts of c++ recursion backtracking linked list dynamic programming etc etc and there is also an an academy assist feature which consists of a live interactive interface and there will be a study planner and you will also be a part of study groups so there is a raise a hand feature where you can clear all your doubts during the session and this is a very good initiative started by an academy so please do check and avail this course and the link is available in the description section you can click on the link and use my referral code ska10 and avail 10% flat discount so my dear students start your data structure and algorithms learning with an academy let's crack it hello friends so welcome back to our session so here uh, now we'll see an example and we'll find the minimum cost spanning tree by following all these rules so let us take an example so consider one graph So consider this graph. So let us take some weights. So let us take these weights. Okay, this is a graph. Consider this graph, and we need to find the minimum cost spanning tree for this particular graph. So what we have to do first to consider any vertex, any vertex. So I'll consider A. I'll start with A. So this is a A. So I have included this one in the spanning tree. Now consider all the edges from A. So you can see A to B with a cost of two, and A to C with a cost of three. Right? A to B with a cost of two, A to C with a cost of three. So we need to select the least weighted edge because A is having two edges. One is from A to B. One is A to C. A to B. A to C. So consider the least weight. So this is the least among these two. So we need to add this B to the spanning tree. Now the spanning tree will be A, A followed by B. So with a cost two. So this is the tree. This is the tree. Now what is the new vertex here? B. So what is the remaining vertex? Consider this one A to C with the three. and consider the edges from b right so from b there is a vertex from b to a which is already covered right because this is a undirected okay this is a undirected so b to a is covered so we need to consider b to c and b to d so b to c with a cost of 5 uh, and b to d b to d with a cost of 3 right b to a b to c b to d right now what happens among this this one we are having a two edges with a minimum cost of 3 so you can select any 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 edge no problem so i'll select this one b to d i will select this one b to d now the tree will be a the tree will be a followed by b b to d so the edges are 2 3 now the spanning tree becomes this one so in the first step the the spanning tree is this one that means only one vertex in the second step so first step second step and this one is the third step now consider the remaining edges what are the remaining edges a to c with a cost of 3 b to c with a cost of 5 right now d is added here now consider the edges of d so you can see d to b which is already done because of undirected right so you can simply use this one bidirectional right right so b to d is completed now b to e, d to e so d to e with a cost of 2 and d to 
f with a cost of 3 right so uh, the edges of d are d to b d to e and d to f so among the d to e, b is completed right now among these what is the minimum cost so this one least edge least weighted edge so consider this one now the spanning tree will be a edge to b edge to d and from d to e e so the cost is 2 3 and 2 cost is 2 3 and 2 right and next next okay, what are the remaining edges simply right here a to c with a cost of 3 b to c with a cost of 5 and d to f with a cost of 2 now e is added so what are the edges of e e to d e to c e to f so e to d is completed now just uh, discard that one e to c so e to c is not there so we can write the edge e to c with a cost of 4 and e to f with a cost of 5 e to f with a cost of 5 e to f right now among this one this one is the least weighted edge least weighted edge d to f so see our graph our tree will be a b d e and f right so this is 2 weight 3 this is again 2 now again it's a 2 again it's a 2 right you can observe here whether all the vertices have been covered or not a b b so there is no c is not there right so you can continue the process so what, what are the remaining uh, edges a to c with a, a cost 3 b to c with a cost 5 d sorry e to c d to f d to f is completed so e to c with a 4 e to f with a 5 right next f we have reached to f so the new vertex is f so write down the vertices of f so f to d f to e right f to e is completed so f to d f to d with a cost of 3 now you can see among all these things what is the minimum a to c or f to d right f to d is also completed right f to d is also completed so you need not go with this one and one more thing is f to g so that is also completed f to e we have written f to e here right so now among all these things what is the minimum cost a to c so consider a to c and observe whether it is giving the cycle or not it forms a cycle or not so if you apply a to c it doesn't form a cycle so consider this one so a a to b d f e c right now you can give the weight as 2 3 2 2 and 3 so I can observe here a to b with 2 b to d with 3 d to f with 3 d to f with 3 so d to f 3 okay d to f is with 3 so this is d to f with 3 and then uh, d to e is 2 and uh, a to c is 3 so you can observe here all the vertices have been constructed that means included in the tree so a b c d e f so here we are having total six vertices six vertices so all the six vertices have been included and now you can observe here the remaining edges what are the remaining edges so consider b to c with a 5 and e to c with a 4 and e to f e to f with a 5 so if you consider b to c so if you if you add a b to c it forms a cycle so we have to discard this one 
right e2c4 e2c if you if you just connect this edge again there is a cycle so a b d e c a so again you need to discard this edge and e to f again if you construct if you connect this edge e to f again a cycle forms so again we need to discard these edges so we have to discard these edges so that we can have this one okay so hope you got this one so uh, i think these things are not clear So I'll write the edges here. E to C with a four, and E to F with a five, right? So I think now it's clear. So we have to apply. We have to consider from the single vertex. You can consider any vertex, and consider the edges, all the edges from that vertex to new vertices, and consider the least weighted edge. Okay, and continue the process until all the vertices have will be connected so this is the spanning tree minimum cost spanning tree minimum cost spanning tree for the given graph what is the cost here so you can observe the cost i will write here cost is equal to so what is the cost 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 Plus two, three two three three two. So what is the total cost here? We can observe. So five eight ten thirteen. So thirteen is the minimum cost for this particular tree. So the cost, the cost is thirteen. The cost is thirteen to construct the this particular spanning tree. So this is the procedure we need to follow for Prim's algorithm. Okay. So consider a graph, and finally we are getting the minimum cost spanning tree. So we'll get a many spanning trees from this graph. So as we discussed in the previous session, right? So we can get a many spanning trees from this graph, but we need to find out the minimum cost spanning tree. So this is the minimum cost spanning tree obtained from this particular graph. So hope you understood this one. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. definitely i'll try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much